What's up, E units? This is K Steel, and welcome to another video for you. In today's video, I want to talk about this trailer for Pokemon Sword and Shield that came out recently. I wasn't a big Pokemon fan back in the day because I always found these games to be confusing and I kind of wasn't fond of the cutesy aspect of this series. I always found stuff like that to be very overly sweet and mawkish. However, recently revealed details in this trailer made me think that maybe I should play Pokemon Sword and Shield. I might actually buy this game. So I just kind of wanted to talk about the trailer and what my thoughts are about the things revealed in it. So without further ado, here we go. So we open up with shots of various locations in the game. It seems like the environments are based on Great Britain, as I noticed some landmarks from Britain being replicated here, like Big Ben. I also noticed the Victorian-ish architecture with the buildings. It's cool, but for a game called Sword and Shield, I would have imagined more of a medieval architecture, but that's just me. Here we have a Pokemon battle between the protagonist and someone else. And they show off the starter Pokemon for this entry in the franchise. And we get this shot to show off the Pokemon. Nothing much I can really say about these Pokemon aside from the fact that they're, they're okay. And I see a lot of fan art of them. But that's kind of expected. Continuing, we get some shots of the characters traveling in the various environments. What's interesting is that it seems like the camera is behind the characters and able to be rotated as opposed to the top-down perspective of previous games. From what I've heard, it seems like Pokemon Sword and Shield will be more open-world based entries in the Pokemon franchise. For something like that, the camera being behind the character would be appropriate as it can show off the brilliant landscapes of this open world. Even then, I'm a sucker for open world games and I like seeing the various environments a world can offer. So this is cool for me. We get some shots of additional characters that are important to the game. And we get a shot of how Pokemon battles are instigated, some shots of new Pokemon, and shots of how battles work and how Pokemon attack. This section seems to just be some simple stuff that you expect from a Pokemon game, nothing really special. I must say that I am really digging the various environments and visual effects in this game. It looks really nice and excites me. We get some additional shots that emphasize the open world nature of this game, such as these panning shots, weather shots, stuff like that. I wonder if Breath of the Wild has something to do with the inspiration for this game. This shot implies that weather will play a role in the game. We see some vehicles, some additional functions like fishing, shaking trees, and whistling Pokemon. And we get this shot with beacons of light, which is interesting because it leads to this. Dynamax Pokemon. Dynamax seems to be the mega evolutions for Pokemon Sword and Shield, in which it seems like this sword is super mode for a Pokemon. Dynamax seems to make your Pokemon grow into exponential scales, and based on the footage, it also seems to make your Pokemon's attacks even stronger. It also seems like the Beacons of Light are kind of like the home for already Dynamaxed Pokemon. This shot seems to show the process of Dynamaxing your Pokemon, which is interesting. We have a Raichu, by the way. This is really interesting. I like Dynamax. I'm a big fan of Kaiju Tokusatsu, and this really gets into that. This shot shows one of the Pokemon characters throwing a Dynamaxed Pokeball to capture a Dynamaxed Pokemon, which is interesting. However, based on what I heard, you can only keep Pokemon in Dynamax mode for three turns. So I wonder what this means. We get this shot of a stadium and see more Dynamax battles, although it seems like your opponents can have Dynamax, which is interesting. Seems to provide a challenge, but also a visual spectacle. I'm already liking this. Although I must say I'm very disappointed with Nintendo and Game Freak. When you bring up kaiju slash giant monsters, I expect Godzilla sized monsters or bigger. These are just house sized monsters 
Therefore, they are completely meaningless. I'm kidding, of course. Dynamax is awesome. But Godzilla-sized Pokemon would be cool. And we get a shot of this character. A trainer champion character? That's cool. Then we get this sequence, which I'm not sure what it is. My assumption is it's a title sequence. It's a cool sequence, don't get me wrong. And I hope it's in the final. But, um... I don't know what it is. And here we get the title. Pokemon Sword and Shield, of course. And I bet it's on the Xbox One nose on Switch. It comes on the 15th of November of this year. That's pretty close to my birthday. Pretty cool. So that was the Pokemon Sword and Shield trailer. And this is really something I'm really interested in. Originally, I didn't really care about Pokemon Sword and Shield. I mean, it's cool the Switch was getting a Pokemon game, but I was like, I'm not really that big of a fan of Pokemon, I don't care. But then I was talking to an artist I frequent, and he drew Pokemon fan art, and we discussed, wouldn't it be cool if Pokemon had giant battles, like in Godzilla or something? And I was like, yeah, that'd be cool. And then the person saw the direct and told me that Sword and Shield was going to have giant battles, and I called it. And I was like, whoa, really? And I checked it down, and I was like, hmm, this is actually really interesting. Now I admit, it's pretty superficial of me to like this game, because I'm liking it for a gimmick, rather than its core gameplay. I didn't really give this series a chance over its cutesy aesthetic, so I might give this game a chance and try out the other games in the series. Besides, I love monsters. I should like Pokemon. So, I'll check this game out. I'm excited. Dynamax is awesome, and I will give the other games a chance. But anyway, until next time, this is K Steel signing out. I'll see you all later. Well, that is all for today, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more Cobalt Steel. Until next time, see you all later.